Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased Bugatti's Russo, which is part of the um, Casino and Resort DLC. And like I said, it is currently unreleased at the time of recording this video. And as we have a look at it, it does look pretty fucking amazing. A little bit like a hype, uh, like in Hypersport, um, in my opinion. Very similar to it, actually. Uh, but it's, it's just amazing looking. It looks awesome. So hopefully we get some nice customization options for this bitch. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start with 100% body armor as always. And we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get race brakes for the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Exhausts. We get a good amount of options for the exhausts. Hopefully they're, they're going to be something special. And as it stands, there's nothing crazy good. Even though these angular ex exits change the shape of the rear bumper, which is something, I suppose. Uh, but it doesn't change it for the better, in my opinion. I think it looks... Whoa! <laughs> the street setup, man. Holy crap. That looks awesome. Yeah, like I was saying, is these types of bumpers, or these exhausts, sorry, because it's in the exhaust category... And the bumper does change with the with the exhaust option, and um, that stock version of the bumper looks sweet. That's I like it like that. It looks cool, but then when it flattens out like that, uh, not so much. But then we jump to this motherfucker, and that looks crazy, man. It looks awesome. So I'm gonna grab it. I wasn't expecting that at all. So I'm really happy that that's there. Then we've got the front bumper. We've got the open. We've got the open too. Oh, okay, so the open two, you lose a diffuser at the bottom. We've got the racing, and you've got the racing two. Uh, now, in my opinion, none of them are crazy good. You know, they're, they're all a bit standard. Uh, especially that racing two. I don't like the canards on the side. I think they always look a bit funky. So definitely not going to be having that one. The racing one's okay. It's very, very similar to the open too, there's hardly any difference at all. Uh, like I said, with the open, you get the diffuser at the bottom, and with the stock, you get the two uprights there. And to be honest, man, I think I think the stock bumper looks the best. So I'm going to say stock for the front bumper. Then we've got the grill, uh, so we can cap it, and you can open it all together. So this one it makes it look a little bit piggy at the front, so I'm not a fan. Uh, capped. Is definitely my favourite because the open one doesn't look great either. Even though the open looks better than the stock, I'm going to cap it, baby. So let's cap it for the hood. Three additional options, so we can clean it. Uh, put a streamline or streamline two. Um, I think I'm going to clean it. I think it looks pretty cool, uh, smoothed off. So we're going to go with that. Even though the stock hood does look pretty sweet, uh, I'm going to smooth it off. Why the fuck not? Let's just do it. We're going to skip the horn. Lights, uh, we're going to get the Xeon headlights. Then we've got liveries. Loads of liveries again. Same with all the uh, DLC cars in this in this um, update. Loads and loads of liveries. Nothing crazy good, in my opinion. Because the, the race liveries at the end of the day. And they're nothing spectacular. Um, that one looks pretty cool though, the Ron. I like the look of that. Especially with the white paint work as well. That also looks pretty cool with the white paintwork. Um, like I said before, I'm not a massive fan of liveries, especially race liveries. Um, I don't know though, that that's pretty um, unique. Make it look like a big furball. But um, I think the wrong one's probably the best. But to be honest, I think it might may look better without a livery. Even though that one actually looks really good. Especially with the white white paint job as well, it does suit it really nicely. Um, I might get it. I might get the white the flow racing. See, I'm just going on what the color of the car is at the moment. I might want to change it from white. But if a couple of these liveries look good with the white paint job, I ain't gonna change it, man. I might just grab a livery, keep it white, and be happy with it because that does look cool. I'm a little bit unsure of these sponsors on the side here, the the Wiz and the Arrow. They look a bit weird. If they weren't there, I think this would be a lot nicer. You know, even though the sponsors are there, I still think this is a pretty solid livery. It looks pretty cool. 
especially with the white paintwork. So I'm going to grab it just because it does look pretty sweet. Let's get past the plate. Respray. I'm going to leave it white though. Um, because I think that sets it off really nice. I think if we change it from white, it's going to look a little bit weird. Maybe change it from a metallic because you can see we've got a shine on the livery. Um, so it'll be classic white. Yeah, that's a bit better. We don't want ice white. It's a little bit creamy. So we want frost white. Classic. And secondary, we're going to go classic. And that changes the wing mirrors and the trim around the wheel, which is pretty cool. So... Other than that, I don't think there's any other. I also got the trim on the seats as well, which it changes. So I think I'm going to grab gasoline green. It's very close to the same color as what's on the livery. So we're going to go with classic gasoline green. Then we've got roof. We can put a carbon roof on it. But personally, I think it looks better without the roof. So we're going to keep the roof off. We've got spoilers. So we can get the duct out, which is pretty cool. Same in the carbon. Damn. Get these big ass drag wings. Got the GT wing and the secondary street wing. Um, I, the drag wing is it's a little bit crazy. I don't know. I kind of want to go a little bit nuts with this car and grab the drag wing. But then the drag wing does look a little bit funky on, on a supercar. Uh, no, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fight the urge to make this look like a piece of shit and just grab the ducktail spoiler because I think it looks a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner, and uh, tidies the car up a little bit as well. Especially with that crazy livery on it, man. You don't want to be going nuts, even though this is GTA, and it's all about standing out. I think the livery is loud enough. We don't need a fucking loud-ass spoiler on there as well. Anyway, we're going to move on. We've got transmission. We're going to get the race transmission. Turbo, grab, grab the turbo, tune them. Now for the wheels. The wheels are very unique to this vehicle. I don't think there's anything better in the aftermarket versions of these. And plus we get the matching trim around the rim as well. So I'm going to leave the wheels alone and leave them how they are. So then that brings us down to the windows. And I'm going to grab the... Should I? Should I grab the light smoke? Yeah, why the fuck not? Go get the light smoke window tint. And that's it for the build, my dudes. And as we pull out of LS Customs, you can see that this car is very very unique very beautiful it, like i said at the beginning it looks very much like a like and hyper sport from real life um not like identical but it's got similarities especially this back part um but yeah man this car looks awesome and this car is going to set you back 1.925 million dollars when it's released so it's going to be very expensive it's almost two million but it it looks awesome. Customizations are okay. Nothing spectacular, but it's alright. Uh, the liveries, some of the liveries are actually really nice. But then again, there's some which are pretty shit. Uh, I love what you can do with this rear bumper here. It looks awesome. Very unique. And it sounds amazing. It feels really quick, but what do you expect from a supercar? You expect it to be fast. It, wee! It does feel really fast. It feels like it's got really good traction so it holds in there it doesn't want to slide out at all and it just feels like a standard supercar i don't think it's going to set the world alight i don't think it's going to be the newest fastest supercar in the game it just feels quick and it feels good in the corners it feels solid it feels tight it's definitely going to be one to purchase maybe if you've got that sort of money knocking about um but in, in my opinion i wouldn't rush to buy this because it feels like every other good supercar in the game. Like I said, it does feel like every other good supercar that's in the game. So think of all the good supercars that are in the game. And this is pretty much exactly the same. Um, so nothing spectacular. But then also nothing terrible. Um, so I don't think it's going to be worth $2 million in my opinion. I don't think I'll go out and buy it. Um, it's got some unique features to it at the end of the day it's just a standard supercar you know but i'm not really that much of a fan of it to be honest it does look awesome it sounds good it, it's it feels good to drive it's just not got that you know that's something special which is making me think wow this is fucking amazing um the only thing really unique about it is this rear exhaust 
I don't think I've ever really seen anything like that on any other supercar in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, I don't think that's on any other car or supercar, sorry, in the game. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video there. I think I've said everything I really need to say about this car. It is pretty cool. Like I said, mid-range, nothing special, nothing terrible. It's just, just okay, you know. It's pretty expensive for just an okay car, but uh, you know, if you want it, buy it. Uh, me personally I'm going to leave this one alone once it's released because 1.925 million dollars is a lot of money for a car which is just okay in my opinion of course um, but like I said I'm going to end the video there hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash that like button and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this and until next time I'm out adios